got started. It's that time. Six oh one. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. We're going to go ahead and call this meeting to order, and we're going to start out with the invocation, and then we'll follow that with the pledge with Commissioner Patton, if he would. Invocation with Commissioner Patton, well, after the pledge. After the pledge, okay. <laughs> She's got invocation first. You've messed me up. Sorry. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual Our gracious Father in heaven, we approach thy throne this evening, asking your blessings upon us as we enter into this meeting. Please bless us with compassion and understanding and the wisdom to make the right decision for our citizens. Bless our country, bless the leaders that we have, and in an upcoming election, may people be able to vote and to have a peaceful transition to the authority that will take place. Go with us now, Father. Protect us from the evil one. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Okay. This show started. First item is approval of the regular minutes. Make a motion to approve the regular Thank you. minutes. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next is approval of the special call minutes. Minutes of the special call meeting. Make a motion that we approve those minutes also. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills and payments. Make a motion we pay the bills. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay, no old business I'm showing in here. So, going to new business, first item is the first reading of annexation of a portion of Bluegrass Crossings Industrial Park. This is the property, portion of property. Uh, it attach, it connects near Huck, so it is contiguous to the city. It would go out towards the distillery. We have the legal description of the property be annexed in 35.281 acres. Uh, we have the letter of request from the Green River Regional Industrial Development Authority asking to be annexed for this portion of their property to be annexed. And we have a letter from West Kentucky Distilling Company. Uh, the master distiller, Jacob Call, asking for their property, portion of the property within this to be annexed. And we have a plat of what they're looking at annexing. And yeah. you said it connects in with Hux. Yeah, right here is the, the dotted line right here is the the property is the city limit line now mm -hmm. out beyond the on ramp it'll hook right there come across come across part of the distillery property and around and back in here and right here's where they're looking at building that uh, conference center mm -hmm. and this is future development for the industrial park so that would be yeah. uh, property and then this road this is the new road they're fixing to build out to do a cul-de-sac out to the corner because they're having a lot of interest in property but that people want the property that can be seen from the two interstates. Oh. <laughs> and right now mm -hmm. you can't hardly get to it. Mm -hmm. So they've gotten some money through the uh, county IDA, <clears throat> through the TVA money to do the road. So that road extension is coming up. So that could help too. So we just need a motion. We just need a motion and a second for this first reading. Of the annexation of the progress crossings, I'll make that motion. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh, Post same, and that motion passes. Next item is another ordinance, first reading. Uh, we did the uh, resolution back in, I think it was July, for the medical cannabis, and this is the first reading of the ordinance that would allow, where we have given us the authority, we would allow medical cannabis to sell, or not sales, but dispensaries and licensees within the city limits. Uh, some cities are doing it, some are not. Some are putting it on a referendum. It's too late to go on a referendum. And like I said, we've already passed the resolution to go with it, so I'd like to entertain a motion to accept this first reading. For the first reading of medical cannabis. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. The next item, which kind of goes along with that, would be uh, uh, adoption of an ordinance for the city of Beaverdam amending our business license ordinance by adding medical cannabis related businesses. 
That would be medical cannabis under Section 49. Uh, one uh, medical cannabis dispensary would be an annual license fee of $500. And then the medical cannabis cultivator, processor, producer, or safety compliance facility. And that would be four different businesses should they decide to locate here would be in the $500 each. And I would need that in the form of a motion. And make a motion that we approve the first reading of the planning and zoning order. No, this is not the planning and zoning. This is the business license. Oh. I, it's well, part of the cannabis, medical oh, okay. cannabis. I'm sorry. That's it's kind of like. I don't see that. It's 2B. 2B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I make a motion that we approve the, the first reading, though. Yes. The first reading of 2B. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Aye. Post same. That motion passes. Now the first reading of the Planning and Zoning Ordinance Amendment, which does a couple of things. Uh, one, under S Section 673, Highway Business District, which is a B3, it would in add under permitted uses medical facility with no pharmacy or no pharmaceuticals present on site. Under item two, conditionally permitted uses it would add medical facilities where pharmaceuticals are stored, dispensed on site, and medical cannabis dispensaries, the dispensaries of which cannot be located within a thousand foot of the perimeter of a uh, perimeter of the property of a school, daycare, or park property. And then under section 681, light industrial, I1, under conditionally permitted uses would be the medical cannabis cultivator, processor, producer, or safety compliance facility all of which cannot be located within a thousand feet of the perimeter of the school, daycare, or park property. And yeah, that's what we're adding to that one. So those are the, the one, two, three additions on to our current. On planning and zoning. Huh? On planning and, on planning and zoning. zoning. You need those individually or together? Yeah, no, we can do it at one time because it's all under one ordinance. Yeah, I move to approve the planning and zoning ordinance. And second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor of aye. Uh, uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is a planning and zoning board appointment. I found out in talking with Morgan at KLC, and I talked with her, met with her a week before last, and I talked with her again last week. Uh, some commissions and boards that the city has, you have to be a city resident in order to serve on. I asked about planning and zoning, and she has gone back and looked. And nowhere can she find where planning and zoning in the state statute requires residency of a, within the city limits. Since we have a joint with Hartford, she says that there's no reason that couldn't extend out to the county. I'm having a very difficult time finding someone in the city to serve on that. But I have found someone who's interested in serving on that, and that's Terry Baggerly. He does not live in the city, but he owns business. He has a business in the city, and he owns quite a bit of property in the city. And he does a lot of building, and he's involved with planning and zoning a lot. And he's agreed to do it on the. And I make a motion that we approve the <coughs> lead to, um, to the planning and zoning board. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? That was in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <coughs> motion passes. Next item is the bids for asphalt. We only had <coughs> one bid, which is kind of standard from Scotty's. And the bid for asphalt in place includes traffic control as well as KYTC approved emulsified tack asphalt placement, $104.50 per ton. Street prep is not included in the required prep, including edging, uh, back, sweeping, etc. Shall be as follows street prep, including traffic control measures, flagging is $295 per hour. Milling is not included. Any required milling shall be at additional cost as follows. Edge keys, $15 per linear foot, and street milling, $1,500 per hour with a five-hour minimum. This price does not apply to small quantity patching. Asphalt prices are based on the uh, month of October 2024 Kentucky Asphalt Index of $592.14 a ton. Materials are in accordance with the State Department of Transportation. So the bid for this actually is $104.50. Do you remember what it, what it says was last it? year? That's a little bit higher. 
when it says it doesn't apply to patching, so if they're on a street and part of it just needs some patching. Well, well they, a lot of it depends. They, if you have them come and set up and move a lot, they're not going to do it for the same right. price. Right. They're pretty good about working with us on patching, That's what though. That's I thought before. Generally, patching, what we do with patching is a little bit longer than not yeah. going out here and just doing a pothole. Yes. Yeah. But that is the only bid we had. So I entertain a motion to accept that. Make a motion to the Davis County's bid for the asphalt. Second. Have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. The liability grant. I knew there was a couple of things and I didn't know what y'all decided on. We've kind of left that open for y'all. There was the possibility of the, the <coughs> cameras, was one of them. I think we did see that before, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we've seen this. Uh, the cameras. For the police officers. Wasn't there one on there for law enforcement? Law enforcement. Body cameras, storage, yeah. and monthly fees are not included, but the cameras are. This is due in November, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, November 8th. Cameras? We need to check on to see how much it's going to be for storage and all the other stuff that's got to go along with them. It's something we're going to have to get into eventually, eventually whether we like it or not. Do you remember how much this is up to? I don't know if they were saying that, Jill. I think they did on that, but I don't remember. Parker just did this. I mean, I can't remember the year. Mm -hmm. they, just, they just signed up. How much is the grant for? Um, yeah, they had a separate grant. Uh, up to three thousand dollars. Would that be something just to buy the cameras and have to worry about the other parts later? Well, we've got enough time. Okay. To do this, can we check into that storage and all that kind of stuff and see what we what it would be? Because <coughs> we can have a special call meeting to apply for the grant if we need to change it to something else. You want us to go ahead and make a motion to apply for the liability grant for cameras? And then, like you said, if we needed to change, change it. We can do that. We have a special call meeting. Was there anything else on there that caught your attention more? All of our vehicles, for the most part, with the exception of a couple, have backup cameras, don't they? So we don't need that. Of course, you know what I'm looking at over here. <laughs> well, but there's, it's... I can't see the fine print. The surfacing material, but that's gotcha. not even going to hold a candle to it because yeah. our next thing we need to think about is the mm -hmm. the soft, solid surfacing. Yeah. Uh, and then the other is it playground equipment, but it's only for that to replace old equipment. Sidewalk replacement or repair, we've already done that. I don't know. Yeah, there's some more that we could do. But yeah, we really got with it the past. Hmm? We've really gotten on it the past month mm -hmm. or so though, so. And you said eventually we're gonna Yeah, it's gonna happen. Can we just make a motion to apply for the grant and not specify what for you? No, she was gonna go ahead and apply for the cam uh, for the cameras, but we could always change it if something comes back and it's I not gonna work. Storage and all that. Okay. okay. So are you making that form of a motion? I did, yeah. We get a second. Second. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, seeing five with aye. Aye. Post same. Motion passes. Next item is the Hux lift station contract. I don't have it. Oh, he didn't. Did you hear back from me? Uh -huh. Okay, I thought maybe he sent it over here since he wasn't here. Uh, I mean, I could tell you the gist of the contract, but, and y'all could, if that works, I don't know if you need to say it or not. Uh, what we're changing on the contract is Hux will be responsible for every service not provided by the city. Where before, if we called the electrician, we paid that bill. If we had to buy a new pump, we paid that bill. Now, Hux will just, their fee that they pay to the city will just be for 
work provided by the city. And it's for $12,000. They owe us for last year and they'll pay us for this year if they approve the contract. If folks doesn't approve the contract, we can go from there. They don't, we still bill them for sewer on top of that, right? Yes. Sewer service. Yes. If they don't go for it, it's just a matter of we don't go back out there. Yep. And they can find somebody else. If that's the route you want to go. Well, I mean, I'd like to go ahead and do it just to be a good neighbor. Yeah. Or, to try to help if we can, but we can't do it at everybody else's expense. Yeah. Right. Need a motion well, we to you. wait mm -hmm. for that. Huh? Probably need to wait for that contract to come back before we make any motions on it. Whatever y'all. I think it'd be better to wait on okay. that. Okay, next item number eight is the second reading of the Kennergy Franchise Agreement. And this is the old one, but we need to get this one done. So basically nothing changes did it jill no. they're leaving the same dollar amount which we've done with all the others so entertain a motion for the kennergy grant uh, agreement franchise i make a motion for the kennergy franchise agreement second reading second, second. motion is second any further discussion those in favor saying aye. Aye. aye both same and now I need a motion to remove Larry Carter off the signature cards. It seems like Oops. the banks. <laughs> so moved. Well, I don't know what the big deal is. We told him we don't want him on there anymore. But. I'll make that motion to get him off the card. Second. We have a motion and a second. Charles motion to kick him off and Sandy motion second to kick him off. So <laughs> James, you and I are the good guys. <laughs> Jim and I are the good guys. We have a motion. Hey, he's got a herd of cattle out there. Things so are tough. We may want one. Right? <laughs> Any further discussion? Okay. Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. James, you have anything? No, things seem to be going pretty good. Travis hadn't called me fussing about nothing, and hadn't seen anybody tell me fussing about anything. So I tickle to death right now. And I did thoroughly enjoy the KLC meeting. It was a good conference this year. We don't have an I retired. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Counting it down. San Diego. You had given me a number. I believe it was you, Jill. Maybe it was Elisa. Someone gave me a number to call a lady, and I accidentally deleted it. Do you think there would be a note in there somewhere? There's a lady that is wanting me to call her. I'll text tomorrow and see. Yeah, and I've not heard anything from anyone about streets or anything, but you know what I always bring up? Have we had any more thoughts about the wrecking ball or? There's AV. My, or my old red truck or uh, <laughs> in those buildings in Oldham. Yeah, tell me when. The one building will have to have some thought. On yeah, because it's got all of our electrical in it. Right, but the other, it didn't at can, the last the meeting. Didn't we kind of just say, go for it? We thought about it was going to be a wintertime project, just when, because they were still busy mowing and everything. They are, are they going to be tore down? I mean, no. There's no repairing them, I don't think. We can do it. We'd want new anyway if we did them. We can do it. About the, the fencing, I don't remember if we talked about it yet. I'd leave it up for the ball fields. I'd leave it up, because it's in pretty decent shape, isn't it? Yeah, OK. Yeah, I mean, it's not awful, but. That's not great. It's not great. Yeah. But it's. It's, it's workable right now. Yeah. Until we decide what to do. Okay. Sit. And then we'll get the visitors. Yeah, the I was going to catch them, give them more, more okay. time. Yeah. Um, not much. I just, only one thing I guess, Travis or Jill, uh, street light in front of Clarion Baldwin's old place. Mm -hmm. On, uh, Where's that at? Uh, Metal Lawn Drive. They're by the Church of Christ. Okay. Uh, that's that's out pretty dark. Okay, we'll call uh, KU about that. Maybe it looks like an old one. I'm not sure. Maybe upgraded. <laughs> they yeah, they'll be <coughs> in places. Did did they finally get us all lit up down Main Street? Yes, but there's one out still that they got to change the balance on. Okay. What about that one that's broken on the corner? That's the one. You got the cage and everything for it. Uh, Don. Donald, Donald Bray. Bray has got one order. Okay. What about the street light? I talked to you about a WPT. We, at least they called, can you want it? Did they fix it yet? I don't know. We have called. Okay.
don't know nothing else. Okay, Sheila? Mike? We'll update on our two that we sent to phase one. Uh, one of them failed and one of them passed. So we have the one, the Wallace boy passed, and he is scheduled for phase two the last of this month. And the other boy, he just had a problem with his running. He couldn't, couldn't pass his running. So we're still, in, I guess, in the process of looking for somebody else to, to see in and see if we can work that out and get that done. Do we have it? And Mike can prove some, that I can somewhat do five push ups, not girl push ups. He, he can do five to 12 <laughs> So I might be applying. Send, <laughs> send her to the academy. <laughs> but, uh, that's all I've got. What kind of, do you have any idea what kind of time frame they're looking at getting into the academy? Yeah, it'll be after the first year. Well, I know, For but sure. over. I'm going to start the, I think the one in management will be on February. Oh, okay. Is that quick? Yeah. Okay. So I think. You know, it'd be possible that he may be probably going down there already. And it may be a thing that uh, they're talking about uh, letting them come where they don't have anywhere to stay. So they'll mm -hmm. probably get to come home back and forth during the daytime. That may make it easier on recruiting. It could, but none of the chiefs were for it. Really? They didn't have any response back to it. They, just, they were talking about letting them leave Richmond and come home back and forth. That everybody was against it. That is quite a journey. I just thought they would have to experience the whole academy effect. What do you think? Pardon? What do you think? I think they should too. I think it could be. I think it could be. Some people, some guys could handle it, and I think there'd be some that would simply, you know, coming home at night, and being able, to be at home, and kind of do what they want to at night, and then it had a uh, aspect of it too where. I remember it, you're just allowed one tardy, and if you're tardy twice, you get kicked out. So I could see where that would be an issue. Mm -hmm. I can see where the, you build on that <laughs> camaraderie part. Yeah, and they're, they're, they've got one to set aside, and they're talking about. Oh, know, they're going to build the whole building dorms and everything. The whole nine yards, that's the plan. Just to get started. They'll it just takes the time to get it all done. But. Start out in Madison, build PD, they've got uh, classrooms set up on there. Okay. Pretty good looking. Uh, everything else is all right, all right. All right. Uh, I don't know who all knows, who doesn't know. I have been extended an invitation to take a position with the Sheriff's Department. I have decided to take that position uh, after weeks and weeks of anguish and anxiety and trying to make a decision. Uh, out of respect for the city, I wanted to come here and address you guys directly. Uh, that being said, uh, the 1st of November, I'll be taking a detective's position at the Sheriff's Department. Hate to see you go. <laughs> it's not been an easy decision. <laughs> 15 years is a long time. Some of us probably didn't help matters any. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably me <laughs> driving three yards. <laughs> no, I mean making it hard on him to make that decision. <laughs> no, okay, I gotcha. It's been tough. Uh, investigations is probably something I've wanted to do since I went to college for this job. Yeah. I knew the possibility, but I still hate to see you go. Well, I think we all I I can say see that. You go, but I like to see when anybody can follow their dream. Mm -hmm. You got to do what is good for you. And you're still going to cover my back if I drive through somebody's yard. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to investigate you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. He saw my car. He's like, is that Sandy's car? <laughs> I would like to say it's um, been good to work with. He's done a super good job on some several cases. Uh, I've got a lot of work with him. It's definitely going to but I've always told, I've told everybody that's, that's went somewhere else, I've told Tom the same thing. You know, I wish them the best of luck. And, you know, if they feel like they're improving their self and they're doing something they want to do, you know, I'm all for them. And I appreciate Tommy, you know, what he's done here. And oh, absolutely. He's been, 
you know, Hallie's been my right hand. Mm -hmm. we, he's always supported me. And I hope he can say the same thing that I've supported him. It's not an easy decision. <laughs> Not too late to change your mind. <laughs> if I cry, will that change your mind? Because it's about to, me, about to make me cry. I'm not saying anything else, but if I do, I will. Okay. <laughs> I'm too easy to get cheered up. <laughs> we appreciate what you've done for us very much. I appreciate the city giving me the opportunity. Uh, I appreciate Mike, the leadership. It's not an easy decision. I just, I don't know what else to say. But if it's something that you kind of wanted to do ever since college investigation, yeah. it's understandable. Any of you boys playing along? I did five weeks in the cabin. That was long enough. Oh, okay. Oh. Here's that. <coughs> hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer. Yeah. Oh, that's A.B. Oh, he's, 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 he's 21. I'm at least 21, but I don't think I can pass that running test. <laughs> I, I just, told the guys last night not to be afraid. I was the youngest one here, so they didn't have anything to worry about. Huh, Travis? Was <laughs> well, Travis. About you? Travis is young. Yeah. Well, Larry was younger, too. But anyway, we will pick it up and we will go on. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Just for some clarification, the medical cannabis was that just to allow it and follow the state. You're not it's not an ordinance kind of No, it's ordinance it's but it was following the state guidelines. Well we added to it. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's what right. okay. We added the uh, well they say uh KDE uh Associate or whatever accredited school yeah. and state accredited daycare. We said all schools and daycares, okay. and then we added parks. Oh, so all, all of it that, that you mentioned was what you added. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I just didn't know if you made like a and then the, page long ordinance. No, 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 no. And then the licensing. No, actually, they sent me an ordinance is all in one page. I'm like, good, I like these kind. That is perfectly fine. I, I just wanted to make sure. Right, and then uh, we did add it on the where the dispensary goes in the B3 with conditional use. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, the other four can go in an I one indu light industrial with conditional use, okay. which is what most people, most cities that are doing it are doing that same kind of same way. Some of them call it different. Ours is a B three, and some of them call it commercial. Yeah. What okay. have you? But, Let's check. All right, guys, what can we do for you? So we're here to talk about uh, putting a skate park in where Odom's at. Skate park. All right. Uh, we believe it'd be really good for the younger community here. High schoolers, middle schoolers, kids our age, or, well, guys our age. A whole lot. I mean, it'd be a whole lot more to do. There ain't a whole lot to do here. <laughs> Not for people like us that like to skate, to be physical. There's, I mean, if we were to run down the road, that's about as physical as we can get or skate down the road. <coughs> but you might hit a pebble on the way. <laughs> Be pretty bad. I used to roller skate on those streets. You might hit a pebble. Right. We, we also, around like 1 o'clock today, we started a petition. We've already got over 100, 100 signatures already for the county. Uh, to people are actually interested in, you know, coming to it or helping volunteer, put in work, you know, whatever they want to do to help out. I gave them a piece of paper and I said, See, if anybody that thinks that this would be a good thing for Beaver Dam. Yeah, it was so he, he made it, like I said, at 1 o'clock. As of now, it has 113 signatures. Oh, y'all did one online? Yeah. I told him get young people, old people. She said paper. I'm like, these guys well, don't I use paper. paper. <laughs> they don't use paper. I was at school when I made it to them. <laughs> yeah, we just so happened we're skating at Beaver now, but she asked us, would, would we, you know, would we think a skate park would be necessary for the county? And yeah, we do. I mean, we got plenty of stair sets and stuff to hit in town. But, you know, it takes the 
chances of maybe hitting a person or getting hit by a car. And you're technically probably not supposed to be some of them, but we're not. <laughs> but we're not talking about that. that also just like Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to say like 10 o'clock at night, you know. Uh, I gotta go to bed at that time. <laughs> and that's usually when most places are closed and I can stay freely, or when school is out, mm -hmm. I can stay freely. And uh, I think it would just be really cool to have at least a bowl or something to start out with. Do y'all have any kind of idea what you want or what? I know nothing about, <laughs> so you're going to have to help us with this. I mean, like you said, we could, you know, if we need, we could just put like a bowl there or something. Just, you know, just to start out and see how the kids would react or guys our age. But, uh, I we have a lot of friends at State and would love to come down here. If we had a good spot, there would be a whole lot of tourism at this place, too. A whole yeah. lot of travelers would come through. And also, there's potential if we throw uh, <coughs> music shows out there, a whole lot of people would come out there. Uh, Harley does it all the time. Uh, bowling <coughs> do it uh, almost every week. Yeah. They have a concert at the skate park, and <coughs> it'll help. They do it local a lot, too. They do it in local a lot. And we, mm -hmm. Kip and I, we've been in the music scene since like 2014, and we know these people would come to see a show and skate at the same time, yeah. and be willing to pay admission too. I mean, that's without a doubt as well. Yeah, which I mean, like even if, even if we just got like a bowl and like a tiny strip, like strip of concrete with some electrical outlets, like we could set up a place where like you know if people wanted to make you know whatever type of music, and then like they could sit up there and just like. But we also thought if there was a problem with funding, nobody using Oldham, nobody goes there. You can take the concrete there, turn it to gravel, sell it, take the fence, scrap it. Uh, all the middle, all the out for you, Travis. scrap it. <laughs> you know, there's. We've been trying to figure out what to do with Oldham, so. Uh, you can sell it, man. <laughs> and it's all local. You got the. There's a gravel place somewhere around here that buys gravel. I think they're out in Rock Court. Uh, then you got the scrap yard in Hartford that will buy all the metal or the aluminum, uh, whatever the case is. It's all sellable, and that could be a start to help before we ask for donations or start up some kind of GoFundMe. I'll ask you two questions. One, can you get us some kind of design or something you'd like to see? Because, like I say, yeah. Yeah. I'm lost at it. We definitely need to get something like that. Yeah, we already have an idea. We didn't think we'd ever get this opportunity. We're going to build a skate park in my backyard. <laughs> yeah, we had it all drawn out, and uh, we have all kinds of ideas. We were going to build it like foot by foot with like Quick Creek, you know, just yeah, yeah, just spend a few years. We got nothing else to do, but we would also help with labor. We have friends that would help with labor. Yeah, and be honest, eighty yards of concrete cost eighteen hundred dollars. We met some people down at Bowling Green that helped like build an indoor skate park in like this skate shop there. So like we had people with some like experience that would have done stuff like this before. Well, and there's companies out there that'll do it because we've had ac some contact us about an interest, but at the time we did a survey. Now this is the highest one. It's been several years ago, and the skate park wasn't very high because I thought it would be, but. Things change, and there's a lot of factors that goes into something on a survey like that. You know, everything from who's doing it to who happens to be around the day in class when they get them. So, you know, those things can change. Uh, but if you if you get some kind of design, and what I would recommend is uh, dream big. Uh, what would you want it to look like? I'm not promising anything, oh, <laughs> but what would you like for it to look like when it's finished? It may be something and. On your design, think about that. Maybe there's a phase one, phase two, and phase three. Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, we want to go from beginner to like middle, and then a little step bigger. Yeah. Phase one would be the pool, and maybe like a grind rail or something. But but yeah, like it's one of those things too that like I think that there is like definitely some like you know at least a desire in the community to have it. But also I think it's a thing too that like even if it maybe wasn't like the most prioritized thing, I think that if we like put it here and like younger people like were to see it, that it would be a thing that like went from being a thing that like seems inaccessible and that they don't even like 
consider because it's, it seems so far away. Like, you know, if it's like in your backyard, mm -hmm. you're more likely to do it and it could encourage kids to, you know, get more physical Get more involved with it. Outside, yeah. so and I've driven by Bowling Green and I've just seen spectators mm -hmm. too, you yeah. know. That's all I'd have to be. I hadn't been on a skateboard since probably 1980-something. Oh, you're going to be the first one on that way. <laughs> if things get open, you're going to no, be the I'm first one. No, I'm going to knock the buildings down. I'm not going to get on a skateboard. <laughs> but that would be, like I say, if you can come up with some design, like saying, think big. And, well, hey, you'd like to look when it's finished if we could do it in phases. And number two, if you could help us look for any kind of grant funding. Uh, I know we've got access to some grants through the state and federal, but the way they work, and I'm just going to be up front with you, Right now, ap when applications open, they'll be due by probably the middle of April. It'll be at the best November or December of next year, finding out if you get them. And if you do get them, it could very well be as late as November or December of the next year before the funding comes through. So that's two years from now. So I don't want you to, I don't want you to think this is going to be a... We've played the waiting game for something our whole lives. So <laughs> well, but I like to be up front with you. I don't... Necessarily, and I'm not saying there may be some other funds out there available that can get us kick-started sooner. I'm not saying that because we can always use that grant for additional and add-on. But it'd be something I'm open to it and to looking well, into and it the more. Parks and Commissioner Kevin Davis, the empty seat right over there, I talked. He said he wasn't going to be here tonight, and I talked to him, and he had been to Bowling Green and to Owensboro, and he he feels like it's something that's doable too. And I took my grandson. Bowling Green or Owensboro just an hour away, which is too, really too far to go and watch the game. We're 20 minutes away. Is there one in Central City or Morgantown? There's yeah, one in Central City. It's, it's real small. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> like it's two rooms. Yeah, I've seen like people put together better skate parks for like a $50 budget. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like, I'd rather buy some kicker ramps than go up to Central City and skate. Yeah. That's just me personally. <laughs> it's, a, it's not terrible, but it's. I didn't know there was one in Owensboro until Kevin said that. Owensboro's pretty nice. Where's it located? Chautauqua. Uh, Chautauqua. 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 Okay. But, but yeah, beyond that, like with the amphitheater being there, you know, people come to see like shows and whatnot. Um, but like if we had a skate park, like he said, you'd also have people coming for that, which could stimulate, you know, the businesses in this little area if it was right there where Owensboro was. You know, I mean, after kids get out of school, they can go to the skate park. After they skate, they can get hungry and go to Pickle Brady's or the new mm -hmm. Mexican restaurant right there. Never thought pickleball I mean, get big either. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're open to new ideas because like Charles just said, we never thought pickleball would turn out to be like it has. <laughs> it's gone crazy over there. Well, like I say, if you could uh, do those two things for us, and our next meeting, of course, is in November, but if you get that stuff together, you're more than welcome to bring it by here and leave it with Jill or some of them to get it to me and Sandy and Kevin. He'll be back at the end of this month. Yeah. Okay. But like I say, just so we can kind of know what we're looking looking at or, or would like to have eventually, and if you do find any funding or any grants out there, because you all know where to look. On, I wouldn't even tell you the name of a company that makes a skateboard, so... And that's the places to look, because a lot of those places, isn't there a, I'm either going to embarrass myself really bad right now or really come off impressive. Isn't there a skater named Hawk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, I'm he's impressive. Back, he's back from our day. Well, I just remember that. <laughs> yeah. At he's one back, time, he had a foundation. I don't know he's if he still, still does skating. or not. He's two days older than dirt. He's still skating. <laughs> but if he has money that he gives away, we're good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, but we also have uh, buddies who own a skate shop that know where to get that kind of funding as well. Well, I, I, I will say I think there's a foundation specifically for building skate parks in small towns. I, I don't know the name of it, but I'm, I'm pretty, I think it might just be called like the like American Skate Park Association or Foundation or something like that. But I think there is one specifically for like getting skate parks in smaller, more rural. Well, anything you can find us and along those lines just makes it that much quicker. Yeah, we'll do anything we can yeah. and see what we can make happen. We, can, we would love a skate park here. But keep the petition going. Like I say, when you get all this other information together and if you bring it by, or if you want to wait until the next meeting, that's fine because, like I say, it's six, one, half dozen, other. It's not going to all happen overnight. And as long as you all know that, and I can already tell you understand that, so <laughs> that's not a problem. But we're willing to work with you to see what we can come up with. Thank you all so much for coming. I didn't know if you would or not. When I saw you out there, I was really excited. We were ready yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Good.
Well, thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. And I'll tell you, a committee that I used to serve on for young people, it was not about us without, without us. And so it's real important that we have your all's input because you all know, well, you know like I see Paul said, Tony Hawk's back in our day. <laughs> and, you know, you all know what's out there and all of that. So, you know, it's not about us without us. So you're, you're be part of the team. We, we need help. Thank you for having us and listening to what we have to say. Thank you Thank so you. much. You guys have a blessed night. See you. Take care. Now you going to skate out of here? <laughs> Travis, I know we're going to come back to this Hux, but do you have anything? Do you have the contract ready, A.B.? Okay. okay. I've got a couple more questions for you. Okay. okay. Do you have anything else? Do we, do we need to go into closed session for anything? Yes. Okay. Thank you, motion to go into closed session. <coughs> Somebody else second it. <laughs> second.